Hey, what's up, JoJo in the morning family? Hope everybody is having a really, really good day. I'm wearing my power cap today from King Industry. Man, I'm telling you, this is the season that we can walk in the power of God when we have a kingdom vision for our life. So that's what I want to talk to you about today, a kingdom vision. I remember when I was uh, probably about 10 years ago, I stayed up late one night and I was praying and I said, God, I've been doing some you know cool stuff all right stuff but i just know there's more i know there is so much more to life i know there's more to ministry i know there's more to business i know that you have more for my family i i just know that there's more and so as i really started leaning into the lord the lord spoke to me that night and, and he said you know you're you're doing a lot of things and a lot of it you want to do and yes i'll bless it but what I want you to do is the vision and the purpose and the kingdom assignment I have for your life. So I just said, God, I'm tired of doing what I want to do and asking you to join me, anoint me, and bless what I want to do, which was all good things. I mean, they were a lot of really, really good things. And I said, God, I just want to do what you want me to do. God, I want to walk in the kingdom. I want my kingdom assignment. I want my kingdom mandate. And I want to move forward in it. Friends, I needed kingdom vision. When you start operating and praying like that and moving in that, everything shifts in your life. Psalms 119.15 I set my heart on your precepts and pay close attention to all of your ways. Okay? Now, one thing I love when I read the word and also when I receive a prophetic word is I like to pay attention to details in every single word. Okay? I set my heart on your precepts. Yours, not mine. Okay? There's a lot of people who would do a lot of good things and ask God to be a part of it like I was doing. But that's not his precepts, okay? Then it says, and pay close attention to all of your ways. That's why I like talking about the kingdom of God. See, well, a lot of times what people do is they're 50-50. 50% of what they want to do, 50% of what God wants to do, okay? Then you got your 70-30. They're kind of getting holy. 30% of what, what they want, want to do, 70% of God but the true kingdom-minded people, the people that are operating out of a kingdom vision, they will pay attention to all of your ways. All of my ways should be a mirror image of the Word of God and the prophetic words God gave me. Okay? Proverbs 29, 18 this is uh, in the Passion Translation. It says, where there is no clear prophetic vision, people quickly wander astray. But when you follow the revelation of the word, heaven's bliss fills your soul. Now, I'll tell you why I like this, this translation. Okay, People say, where well, there's no vision, people perish. I got a vision, brother. I got a vision. That's right. You do have a vision. <laughs> but is it a kingdom vision? Okay. There are people who are doing crazy things in the world. They got a vision. But it's not a kingdom vision. And as this scripture said, a prophetic vision. Now, understand this. Like I said, hang on every word. Where there is no clear prophetic vision. I've even had people say, I, I got a, I have a prophetic vision, but it's just not clear. Well, if you're trying to build a house and you got your blueprints out and somebody spilled coffee on the blueprints and the blue ink kind of got scattered, the vision is not completely clear, okay? You need to have a clear prophetic vision. Okay, where does prophecy come from? 
Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Prophetic words come from heaven because it is the blueprint from heaven to earth. He gives you a clear prophetic vision for you to carry out and operate in. Now, the problem with most people is God will give them a clear prophetic vision to, let's say, start a church. And as time goes on, they get away from the clear prophetic vision and they start moving into the ways of the world in the church. And then they start moving the world into the church and then the prophetic vision's gone. There is no kingdom vision. It's man's vision. I remember one time I heard a pastor say, and I about fell out of my chair. He said, this is my church and I will do exactly as I want. And the Holy Spirit spoke to me and said, he's going to have a hard next five years if he continues in this. He had a very hard next five years of his life because he, he wasn't, going with the clear prophetic vision. See, even at our church here in Texarkana, if God speaks something for me to preach on and I really don't want to preach on it, I really don't have a say. If uh, if our, one of our worship leaders, God drops a song in their spirit and they really don't want to sing it, they really don't have a say. You know, I, I can't tell you how many people had a prophetic word and they say, I really don't want to share this, but God won't leave me alone. So they released the... Man, I don't have time to start that side business, but God is keep leading you to do it. So when you get a, per, a clear prophetic vision, it changes everything. And it says, when you don't have one, people quickly wander astray. Now, I'm going to teach you something that a lot of people don't know. I know so many people who are very, very, very successful in what they're called to do. But what they're doing is not their prophetic vision for their life. I can't tell you how many people I know they're doing very well financially and they have great families and uh, they love the Lord, but they're frustrated with the, a huge portion of their life because I had a guy um, come in one day. He said, Joe, you know, we're very successful, got multiple businesses, things are great. I'm just, I'm not doing everything God called me to. I do all the business stuff, but not the ministry stuff. And he said, so there's a, like a, a lack in my life. There's a void in my life. I just, I'm not completely satisfied with my, my life. And he said, when I talked to my wife about it, she's like, you know, we used to be so on fire, power. They used to walk in Holy Ghost power, but they walk away from it. And they said, you know, we know what we're doing. Like with our, like they have a great family, great businesses, but the whole ministry aspect is gone. And so they're one of those uh, 30, 70%. They're doing 70% of everything right, but the spiritual side of things, they're really not. And so where there's no com clear prophetic vision, people quickly wander astray. Quickly. But... When you follow the revelation of the word, heaven's bliss fills your soul. When you're moving and operating in the power of God and doing everything that God calls you to do and, and living according to the word of God, I'm telling you, there is no greater feeling. I, I never, ever, straight up to the ever, go to bed and wonder if I'm in the will of God. I got to the will of God perfect, clear, prophetic vision over my life years ago. And I decided I sure like it here. So I'm not going anywhere. I'm going to do exactly what God has called me to do. And when you start moving and operating in that, there'll be a flow to your life that you could never even imagine. God's just looking for somebody to move in the prophetic will for their life. And when you start doing that, you will understand the word of God at a degree that you could never even imagine. He's just looking for that person to drop the revelation knowledge of the word on. The closer I get to God, the more I understand the word. The more I do for the Lord, the more fresh revelation he gives me because I'm moving in it every single day. See, in, in life, we, we have a vision for a whole lot of things. But do we have the kingdom vision for what God wants us to do? Are we becoming what God wants us to become? And most people, unfortunately, they say no. And so things aren't flowing perfectly. There is a flow to God that you can get into when you're operating 
with the kingdom vision. And when you're flowing and operating in it, everything starts to shift. So I hope today helped you. Hey, if you need prayer, go to the website, jojodawson.net, go to the contact button, prayer request. If you want to know about our mentoring program, let me know our mentoring program. We have a Facebook group that we put people in. Also, we do, you get one one one-on-one call um, or Zoom a month, sometimes two if we can work it into the schedule, but for sure one. And then um, I'm always available for prayer because I know that, that, that everybody has got the Holy Ghost power ready to do some great things in your life and help you with your kingdom vision. See, I like to partner with you and what heaven is saying over your life to help you walk in that kingdom vision and do exactly what God has called you to do. Okay, my friends, I love you. Hope you have a blessed day.